Joining me at uh, Edgar Street, Josh Cowling. Uh, your reflections overall, how would you assess the team's performance today? Uh, give credit to all, all, all Chingham staff with. I think they're, they're a good side. They're up there you know, for a reason, but I don't feel like we were at it. Like we've, we've been at our home. I think we give them a little bit too much respect. Um, and obviously two mistakes cost us the game. Because the intensity of the last two home games has been, been right up there, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, we did some work on them in, in the week and we, and we knew their movement was you know, difficult to you know, you know, match. So we were aware pressing too high, too early, you'd get picked off. So um, you know, we kind of worked on that, but we just didn't really implement it like we would have liked. You mentioned the respect there. Is that because you know, basically they thumped Terry for 5-1? Uh, earlier in the season, was yeah. there a hangover from that? Do you yeah, feel? I mean, I mean, we spoke about that a bit at the end of the game, and you know, uh, not being disrespectful to any of the teams here, but I don't really want to respect anyone in this league. You know, we've got a job to do, and you know, we've got to get points on the board. So, you know, I let the lads know that. You know, we go to York on Tuesday night, and we don't show them any respect. So, but yeah, I, I, I just feel we're a bit hesitant with our press, and you know, we, we've just got to be better in that area, really. How pleased were you though with possession overall? Because you you matched the visitors in that respect. Yeah, I think we kept the ball well. We just I, I think when we got to the final third, it was that last pass or you know the, the control that kind of let us down a little bit. And if you actually look at the game, we had some good chances and we just didn't put it away. What about lack of width today? Yeah, um, we wanted our fullbacks obviously to get forward. Kieran's played left back. He's not a natural left back, so obviously it's difficult for him. I think he played well. He just um, obviously didn't get on, you know, as much, and I don't think he has gotten as much as you know what he normally has. So we probably lacked a little bit. We worked in the week on our, our, our two wide players getting a lot wider, and um, we didn't really do that today. I think we peeled inside a bit too much. And at one nil, your role was in the game. Um, Kelsey Mooney, a couple of really good opportunities. Yeah, he had um, obviously the, the toe poke that ended up with the corner flag and then um, he had the header. So, you know, we, I think when you look at the game, the chances we had, we probably had the better chances in the game and, you know, you end up losing 2-0. So there was a sucker punch, wasn't it, before half-time that really made the difference, I felt? Yeah, you know, the cross was in too easy um, and then the shot and then, and then you know, it, 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 the, all of it, whole round, can be a lot better. So we were disappointed with that. What's Brandon... Paul, the goalkeeper, said about about the second goal. It seems a bit speculative shot from Jordan Hume originally. Yeah, he just come in at the end, held his hands up. Um, you know, it's kind of bounced in front of him, hasn't it? So you kind of want to see him palm it wide. But hey, we all make mistakes and we galvanise, we get around each other and we pick each other. We've got a game Tuesday and we've got to put that right Tuesday. How tough is it going to be now, uh, this run of four consecutive away games? Um, do you feel that you, you're ready for it? Yeah, 100%. We take each game as it comes. You know, one game at a time, York's next, and then we'll go on to the one after that. So we've got to pick a point at the end of the day. We've got our targets. We know what we've set ourselves, and we've got to achieve that. The lads are disappointed today. And although we've lost 2-0, you know, it shows how far we've come that, you know, they're sixth in the table. You know, we're 17th, and the lads are disappointed with losing 2-0 to, 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 a team in the play, to a team in the playoffs. Sorry. So, you know, we're still pushing. We've still got a lot to improve on, and, and, and we'll keep making them strides. How much scope have you got to change things uh, and rotate things over the next month? Because it's four games very in very quick succession. Yeah, the squad is what it is. Um, I, I mean, I'm sure the chairman spoke about it, and I've spoke about it a little bit regarding the budget and you know where it's been and kind of overspend. So, you know, we're not going to be bringing anyone in, I don't think. Um, and and that's just how it is. So we do, we've got work we've got, and we've got to push forward. Have you you said um, when you came to a sports talk in Leicester, you talked about. Uh, points targets and you've all given players targets yeah and are you, how far off are you from that overall points target would you say we, we, we've worked out what would we, we would need to be safe um, um you know we're not a million miles off that so you know that's what we're striving for that's our first goal that's our first you know short-term goal and then obviously we're going to push on with our targets from there so we're not a million miles off it but you know obviously we've got to get wins on the, on, on the board yeah it's a question of getting that first victory isn't it yeah I think we've you know, we've, we've played well. You know, you look at the game, you look at the Alfton game, we should have won that. You look at the Dalo game, I think we should have won that. So, you know, really we should have, you know, six, we should be six points better off really. So, but it is what it is. When you're down there, sometimes the, the, you don't get the rub of the green and, you know, we're probably not getting that as much. And also we just need to keep improving to finally get that result. Thanks for your time. No problem, thank you. How much do you feel the importance of the coin toss at the start? Because obviously they turned us around and not shooting towards the meadow end in the second half kind of played against us a little bit. Yeah, I, I get what you mean, but you know, at the same time, I, d I don't think you know it's the same for both teams, isn't it? Really. So obviously, kicking down in the second half with those fans behind you is, is fantastic, and we need that. But we've got to play to conditions, and at the end of the day, they did turn us around, and you know, we, we, we have to play to that. So we just we're just still a, li a little bit off it. So you know, we, we've got to do better next time game. The injury situation, Pollock, 
took a knock, did he? Um, yeah, he had, a, he had a little niggle, but we just wanted to bring uh, Tommy on just to kind of, he's a bit more possession based, I, I would say, and he's a bit more kind of forward thinking. You know, we had Ben in there sitting, so that was kind of the reason for Ben coming off. Right. No problem. Thank, Thank you. you.